Hello everybody, Jose Rodriguez here. Almost on a daily basis, I keep seeing uh, posts about people finding used printers. And I have to admit that I have only purchased out of maybe 30 plus printers that I have owned during this little career of mine on YouTube. Um, the majority of them were bought used. And of course, that's always taking a chance. In fact, the new ones that I bought, all the Pro 100s locally, were purchased on Craigslist. And so it's odd, but you know, you have to kind of be very careful as to how you approach buying a used printer. And you often see them described as like new or very little use. Well, that can mean many things. Now, if a seller is really serious about selling this supposed little used, used printer, they better be ready to provide you with a nozzle check, at least even post it on your eBay ad for that printer, or, you know, at least email it to someone that's interested locally, let's just say. Uh, but quite often what will happen is this, and you got to really be, be careful how you uh, read these descriptions for these printers. They'll say like new or they'll say lightly used and that can mean many things, okay? Lightly used to me means that you barely ever used it. In other words, it's going to probably be clogged. Why are you selling it? Oh, because you no longer need photo printing? No, I highly doubt that. You're probably selling it because you let it sit for such a long time now it's clogged up and yeah, you ran out of ink and there's no way that you're going to be buying ink just to test the printer in order for you to sell it. No way. You're not going to do that. So you're going to pawn it off to someone who will have to take it under their wing, I guess, like just like I did and revive them. And I've been able to do it. I have not had a single failure, but that's not saying that you're going to get a, a workable printer out of something you buy unknown from eBay. Now, the excuse you'll normally get is, no, I cannot run a nozzle check because one of my cartridges is empty. Oh, that's a good one. That's always going to be a red flag. Just walk away from that sale. Now, if you live in a big city and you have lots of Craigslist sellers, is that still around? I think so. Look up that particular printer you're looking for and see if anyone is selling them and it's got to be brand spanking new in box if they have it used then you should be able to visit their home or wherever they have it housed and test it if it does not work out walk away do not even continue humoring this person just walk away there'll be others believe me so careful do not buy anything online that's going to then cost you like 70 80 dollars to ship to you and what if we have to return it that's another 70 or 80 dollars now let me leave you with this little tidbit oh my gosh i was at micro center this morning and i decided as i was leaving with my item i decided to walk by the paper section and then i walked by right next to it was the ink section a set of these was a hundred and thirty nine dollars and ninety nine cents plus tax eight of these i cannot believe it even cli eights like these was ten dollars less like a hundred and twenty nine 99 so call it 130 and 140 this is what ink is selling for so no wonder a lot of us want to refill and no wonder these sellers are not going to bend backwards and you know buy a cartridge just to humor you and give you a nozzle check not going to happen so again it's kind of a russian roulette thing and just just be careful try to buy new if possible 
again don't rush and and, and try to you just buy the first one that pops up look on craigslist look on local sales look on facebook marketplace you may find something that is worthwhile especially if you can just drive over to it and pick it up all right short but sweet thank you so much don't forget to subscribe share and like and as always happy printing everyone and bye bye